It was an eerily clear night on the Amazon when I came to this planet. It was the end of the first millennium, the 974th year to be exact. I came in the form of a, of a Brazilian wandering spider, but quickly changed forms when I realized that humans were superior for some reason. I decided on the African-American form. I thought because of the dark markings, I would be less conspicuous. Boy, was that a mistake. Nevertheless, I found a place called Los Angeles to exist because it was said that anything can happen there. I chose the perfect woman to bear me. Highly intelligent, healthy and attractive as a human can get, and full of some of the most pure energy I'd ever encountered. Humans call it love. This being had a male counterpart who was more than suitable to play the role of male parental figure. Together they would make my existence as an earthling bearable. I wanted to be able to make an impact on this planet, like no other being had. As I went through my travels as a human being, I realized that artists of all kinds were revered on this planet. So I decided that's how I would do it. I started with painting and progressed to creative expressions of all kinds. So, when did you get your first idea that Chauncey was a genius? Mm, probably around the time when he wrote that, his first symphony, or the time that he did our taxes. And I thought, that's pretty good for a kindergarten. Time I realized my son had this amazing ability to just create. Um, I told him to go and pick up his role. And and he, in his quiet like way, as he always, you know, would be saying, you know, yes, mom, and he went in his room, and he was in there about two hours, maybe a little bit over. But I felt I said, wait a minute, let me go and check him on him. And when I did, I checked in, and I saw this amazing imperial on the wall, and I said, oh my, how awesome is that for a child so young to be able to create like that? And where did that creativity come from? And that's my first memory of my son being able to create something so awesome. So, when was your first indication that Chauncey was a genius? Um, genius. 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 Uh, is that a fancy way of saying homosexual? It wasn't so much that he had this passion for art is it's like he was it's like this force driving him to be able to create and that's when I realized that he had this amazing talent. We are sitting here with Taylor Lautner. He is one of Chauncey's favorite actors to work with. So uh, Taylor, how did you meet Chauncey? Um, we worked together on a project for Sundance a few years ago. Mm, I see. So uh, when did you realize he was a genius? Um, that's hard to say, but probably when he simultaneously wrote the score, performed it, and writing and editing and directing it, um, and he also did my tax. Do you have any other words you would like to say to Chauncey? Well, I definitely look forward to working with Chauncey on other films. I remember the first time I realized that my son had some serious artistic skills. I called him with um, a Playboy magazine. So naturally, I had to check out the magazine just to see what he was looking at. And I noticed that he had used paint to change the models and touch up the background in the Playboy. So I thought, he must be either gay or one heck of an artist. He was always a different kind of chap. He just wasn't a this world kind of quality. He was just a little different. Different. But I wanted to just go ahead and say it. Say what? Why don't you just go ahead and say it? No, he, he was just different. Different? Like in gay? 
No, he was just sensitive. So, Taylor, how can you describe Chauncey in one word? Phenomenal. Um, mellow. Right. Loyal. I'm serious. Here. Independent. Laid back. Carefree. Comfort. Frugal. Different. Hard. Trustworthy. Genius. Relaxed. Different. Different. Chill. Amazing. Stand up. Cold. Awesome. Talking. Warm. Honest. Good father. Awesome. Good son. Excellent guy. Smart as hell. Thank you.